The NBA will finally resume after months of hiatus due to the coronavirus pandemic. There will be eight more regular season games played before the playoffs begin, but these eight games will affect playoff seeding only. On Friday, the NBA announced that the eight games played in Orlando will not be taken into account while voting for seasonal awards. Only the games before the suspension will be taken into account. So based on the games played till March, here are my predictions for the regular season awards. But before we get into today's video, I want to thank you guys for your continued support on this channel. It means the world to me. And if you are new here and enjoy NBA content, consider subscribing. I upload every single day. Let's start with the Rookie of the Year. With Zion Williamson out of the race due to him playing only 19 games this season, Ja Morant is the clear favorite to win this award. Morant has been explosive since his arrival to Memphis. On offense, he has all the fundamentals of an elite point guard and is averaging 17 points and almost 7 assists per game this season. Morant has also helped lead the Grizzlies to a 32-33 record this season and looks to secure their first playoff berth since 2016. Team. Now let's move on to six man of the year. After Lou Williams won this award for the past two seasons, Oklahoma City Thunder guard Dennis Schroeder looks to nab the title this year. He has been their main scorer off the bench this season, averaging 19 points per game at a career best 46% from the field. And after ESPN gave the Thunder a 0.2 chance of making the NBA playoffs this season, Schroeder has been at the fore of their playoff charge and has helped them to qualify convincingly where they currently sit at the 5 seed in the West. Now let's move on to Defensive Player of the Year, and I think this award is one of the closest races all season. Only Michael Jordan and Hakeem Olajuwon have won NBA MVP and Defensive Player of the Year in the same season. Giannis Antetokounmpo could be on his way to join that exclusive club. After being runner-up last season, Giannis has stepped up his defense this season even further. His blocks per game may have gone down, but he has stepped up with his rebounds and is leading the league in defensive rebounds. He also leads the league in defensive rating with 96.3. This might be the closest race for an award all season though, like I said, because Anthony Davis has made an excellent case for Defensive Player of the Year this season in his first season in Los Angeles. Now let's move on to the biggest award every year, that being Most Valuable Player. Now LeBron James has had an excellent season this year at age 35, but the King will see his crown go to the Greek Freak. Giannis Antetokounmpo for the second straight year. After winning the award last season, Giannis has only become better. This season he's averaged a career high 29 points and 13 rebounds per game and after being criticized for his shooting from beyond the arc, Giannis has increased his 3 point percentage from 25% to 30% this season. Still only 25 years old, Giannis' potential doesn't have any limits and could result in even more MVP awards. Now let's move on to most improved player. I'd say this award probably has the second closest race behind defensive player of the year. Multiple players have had huge improvements this season. Luka Doncic, Shai Gillius Alexander, and Devontae Graham are just a few that come to mind. But the player that I think will bring home this award is 23 year old big man Bam Adebayo. Adebayo has slowly become one of the most versatile interior players in the league, averaging 16 points, 10 boards, and 5 assists along with 1 block a game. Bam is also doing all of this without a reliable jump shot, so if he develops that part of his game, watch out. And last but not least, we have the Coach of the Year award, which in my opinion has been a two-man race all season between Oklahoma City's Billy Donovan and Toronto's Nick Nurse. Now Donovan has helped guide the Thunder to 40 wins in the deadly Western Conference, but my winner for Coach of the Year this year is arguably the best coach in the league, that being Nick Nurse. After winning the title last season and then watching their team's best player leave in free agency, Nurse has helped Toronto right back on top. Toronto is currently the two seed in the East and on track to win 50 games this season, which would only be 8 less than last year's 58 and 24 record. And that's the video guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as well as let me know your guys' award predictions for this season in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.